we're supposed to be moving on to business news with Imana Amawe in a couple of moments. First Bank. You first. Hello and welcome to Business News. As the general elections kick off this weekend, market watchers believe the management of the liquidity situation in the economy will be one of the considerations at the ongoing MPC meeting of the central bank. Analysts also expect the two-day meeting to focus on the sliding oil prices, increase in the nation's inflation figure for the month of February, election-induced liquidity in the system, and the relative stability which the new regime in foreign exchange markets has brought to the Naira. At the end of its last meeting, the MPC maintained the benchmark rate at 13%. The CBN also suspended the retail gas auction system window, leading to a devaluation of the Naira. The outcome of the Monetary Policy Committee's decision will be announced tomorrow. And eight companies have been named as the best places to work in Nigeria at the 2015 Great Place to Work Awards in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. According to the organizers of the event, the companies are Akintola Williams Deloitte, Unilever Nigeria, DHL Nigeria, and Conga. Others include Microsoft Nigeria, NSIA Insurance, Coca-Cola Nigeria, and Mansard Insurance. The Great Place to Work Awards for the third year is recognizing organizations with strong ethical standards and a work-friendly environment. This year, eight companies have clearly demonstrated the main attributes of a great workplace, where you can trust the people you work with, have pride in what they do, and enjoy the people they work with. Four additional companies who have distinguished themselves by delivering excellence in leadership, wellness, learning and development were also recognized. When we first came in, they said we'd never find a great company to work for in Nigeria. But I'm glad. We, I mean, time has shown that there are good companies to work for, great companies to work for. And we keep on meeting members of management teams who are committed to the journey. Whether they are already great companies to work for or they will or, or they do hope to become a great company to work for, they're committed to doing whatever it takes to make the workplace a better and a more conducive environment for their employees. This this actually means a lot to us because this particular one is an affirmation from our own staff and obviously from the people that we work for in terms of our clients. We're not there yet, we're not perfect, but I think for us the voice of the employees is very important as to things we can do to make work a more enjoyable experience for them. From the organizers of the awards, it's congratulations to the 2015 best companies to work for in Nigeria and for setting high standards in creating a conducive workplace. An indigenous computer company, Omatech, has added solar energy solutions to its range of products. At the official commissioning of its factory in Lagos today, the company says Nigerians can cut down their power consumption by 90% with Omatech alternative energy. Our business correspondent, Temple Achaju, reports. Understanding the Omatec Solar Energy Solution began with an evidential showcase to the Power Minister, Professor Chinedu Nebo, at the Nigerian Stock Exchange where Omatec LED fluorescent has been installed for over a year. Stock Exchange has taken the bull by the horn, allowing itself to be, as it were, a guinea pig to test this out. Satisfied with the products, the team proceeds to Omatec factory in Oregon, Lagos. Here, the power minister commissions the multi-purpose factory where knocked-down computer components and solar energy accessories are assembled. If your electricity bill in the month is 10,000 naira, you can reduce it to 3,000 naira. If you adopt 
LED bulb. All homes should be electrified. In fact, new housing estates should only get approval if they demonstrate that they are going to use LED bulbs all through. Afterwards, the ICT minister, Mrs. Omobola Johnson, arrives to participate in the event. When I talk about awareness creation, it's getting out there the fact that these are high quality products. These are products that hopefully will be cheaper than the ones that we're importing, uh, given the fact that for an assembly like this, uh, CKDs and SKDs are brought in at 0%, so that actually gives a competitive advantage. For the solutions provider, Dr. And Mrs. Florence Seriki, it's time for Nigerians to cut down electricity consumption by 90% with Omatech solutions. We replace the 60 watt bulb with our Omatech 6.7 LED watt, where you have four quantity of two feet fluorescent bulb. We remove the whole thing. We remove the next four, making eight. And by the time we finish, we actually reduce consumption. Your lighting will drop by 90%. Nigeria is in need of energy peak demand of 12,800 megawatts. With less than 4,000 currently generated, the Omatech solar product is said to be a reliable alternative. Temple Ashaju, Channels Business News. Nigeria's local boss began the week on a bright note. And for the closing figures at the end of the tra day's trading activities, here is Bolaji Akinwale with details. Welcome to the stock market reports. The local boss began the week on a bright note as key indicators appreciated by 0.58% to end Monday's session at 29,000. 505.47. Market capitalization stood at 9.84 trillion Naira. Market breadth was positive as 26 gainers outweighed 19 losers. Top on the gainers list was 40 oil, which added 6 Naira and 93 cobalt to its share price. Wapco and Guinness also gained 3 Naira, 60 cobalt and 3 Naira each. On the flip side, Nestle was Monday's heaviest loser with 9 Naira 50 cobalt. Major contributors to market turnover included Mansad Insurers, FBN Holdings and Union Bank of Nigeria. When the closing bell rang, volume came in at 611.71 million shares, valued at 5.61 billion Naira and exchanged in 3,271 deals. And that's it on the stock market reports. I am Bola Gia Kimwali. And that's it on Business News. I'm Emana Amawe. Thank you for watching. It's back to you, Joma, for the rest of the news. First Bank. You first. Next on the news at 10, European football governing body UEFA demands a 14th spot in the 2016 FIFA World Cup. That's on sports. We join us again.